4.3 million pound facility designed to build the next generation of robotic systems. The aim is to con integrate electronics with mechanical structures and computation to make smaller, more capable and uh, more useful robotic systems. So we have a full suite of equipment, um, some of our biggest machines, we have a, one of the world's largest 3D printers. So we can print things like long, long robotic snakes which have hard bits and soft bits. Um, we can even print things like bicycle frames, of course not robotics research, but it's very large structures. We have a water jet laser cutter. What that does, it fires a laser beam down a small water jet and thereby focuses the laser beam much further. That means that we can cut things that are um, much, much deeper than normal and also the water provides thermal cooling. So we can get very, very fine, delicate structures as well as being able to cut really hard things like ceramics and diamonds. We have three medical themes. One being robot therapies, that is robotic systems to restore muscle when muscle has been lost and also to help relearn coordination following a brain injury. But the clinical studies say that the more therapy you have, the faster you recover, the better you recover. So you need a machine or, or some way of getting more therapy. But it's very labour intensive, so if you've got a physiotherapist doing it, they just can't do it 24 hours a day. So a machine that you can use that is entertaining, useful, is really worthwhile doing. So we have, for children, we have a game which is monkey and bananas, so they're kind of getting monkeys to catch bananas. And in fact, we, we said to um, the adults, you know, we're going to design a game for you, what would you like? And in fact, adults also like monkeys and bananas, so... We have surgical technologies. These are devices to go inside the body to perform surgery with minimal damage, thereby enabling the patient to recover much faster. When you're inside the body, if, you, if you're operating through a small hole to minimise damage to the patient, you have very little ability to be able to feel what's going on. So the question is, what could they do with that feedback? If they can feel the forces, they can feel what's going on, they should be able to do more surgical procedures, better, and hopefully faster as well. We have assistive robotics. It's all about recovering, restoring lost function. So for example, prosthetics, where you've lost your knee joint, how can you build a device that can go onto the body and restore this function? When you walk, at points you exert energy, other points you actually um, store energy. So we're trying to use that technique to be able to kind of recharge batteries so we have a prosthetic that lasts longer and does what we want it to do. So that's all about robotic systems to go into environments that either humans can't get into. So we have the pyramid exploration robot. So this is a pyramid in Egypt, one of the great pyramids in Egypt. And the task there is to go inside small shafts and explore what's going on there, what they're for, what's their purpose. So it uses an inchworm type process. That is, it braces at one point, um, another point it releases, it then contracts, then braces at a different point and, and carries on the sequence. Therefore, it kind of inchworms its way forward. Um, so it uses no wheel power as we know it, it's kind of pulling, almost like a breastwork in some respects, where it's pulling and pushing to go up the, uh, the shafts. So it carries a, a small camera, so we can go through small holes and look around what's going on. We carry a drill, so if the need arises, if it's safe and it's the right thing to do, we could drill holes to see what's going on and then put the camera through the holes to inspect what's going on there. So we have a world-class facility here for robotic systems. We're very, very keen to engage with the whole of the UK to create robotic systems. So please do get in touch. Um, we want to do collaborative projects or even just to make robotic parts that you want to do for your research. And um, we're very willing. <laughs>